Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyTabHacks.com uh, and AndroidTabletHacks.com So today I'm going to show you how to install, uh, add, oh, enable your rooted tablet You can do this on um, any tablet um, to actually see ad hoc networks uh, because some of you have um, tethering you, you want to tether your tablet to your Android phone, but it only supports ad hoc. Um, but by default, um, Galaxy Tab and uh, most tablets don't support ad hoc. So we should be. I've actually set up my G2 phone here as ad hoc network. I can see it on my desktop computer, but I can't see it here. That's because the Wi Fi module doesn't support it, but we can hack it and install it. So go download. Um, the file, the zip file, ad hoc tablets.zip, and it'll have uh, ADB and a file called WPA underscore supplic supplicant. Uh, and this will work across all systems, including Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, for Linux, just swap out ADB for ADB Linux, and for Mac, swap out ADB for ADB Mac, or ADB Mac for ADB. Um, so let's go do this. Connect it to your um, to your computer, and uh, let's go copy over the uh, WPA supplicant file. All right. So let's do that next. Let's go to our computer real quick. So if you unzip the ad hoc tablets, uh, unzip it to like the root folder of your hard disk, um, like C drive. And then you'll see ADB and WPA supplicant. Now we're gonna go copy that file into the SD card of your tablet device. I'm gonna do copy, and then I'm gonna to go to my oops, my um, tablet, and uh, I'm gonna put it. Actually, this one has no SD card, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Alright, so I copied it over, and then uh, let's go back to our tablet real quick. Um, so we're back at our tablet device. Uh, go to settings and go to um, applications and development, and make sure USB debugging is checked on. So I have to remove it for this tablet. Okay, and then do it like that. All right, so USB debugging and check, and make sure your disk mode is off because that's that will interfere. And let's go to our computer and start hacking. And what we're gonna do is open up a command prompt. Um, go to start search and type CMD, and we'll get a command prompt here. Make sure you have drivers installed for your tablet device. Um, go to androiddrivers.net. There's uh, lots of drivers there. Do ADB shell, right? Oops, no, sorry. CD backslash, do backslash, sorry, that's, that's my Korean font. And go to where, where you unzip the, uh, the uh, ad hoc tablets folder. Or if you put it on desktop, you can do just CD um, desktop backslash ad hoc tablets, I guess. Without the first slash, you can do desktop slash ad hoc tablets, like that, instead of what I did. But I'm in the directory. So what are you going to do is get into shell, and you have to, of course, have your tablet rooted. Um, um, so I have more than one device. And I'm just gonna unplug my G2 is plugged in. So okay, so I've got into my shell. Uh, I'm gonna type SU. And then you can just copy and paste this. I'll have it on my site. Um, or you can type it if you want to. But I don't like typing all this stuff. This basically mounts it as a read-write file system so you can read and write to it. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna we're gonna copy over a file called the WPA underscore supplicant, the file you copied over earlier, but we're gonna make a backup 
um, just in case uh, we need it. So we will copy it over to, uh, let me see here. Let me see here, sorry. Um, let me see where, where the, uh, where that is. Is that where, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's actually, uh, SD card is the directory for the storage on my tab 10.1. That's what I was trying to find out, but ignore that. Anyway, next what we're gonna do is copy over the file um, the existing one, in, in case something happens, you can always flash this back. Um, so type all this right here. You can just copy and paste it. So what I did is I copied the file WPA underscore supplicant. That's the Wi-Fi module in system bin to the SD card. So anytime you need to revert back, go to your SD card and you can find the S WPA underscore supplicant dot original and copy it over back to that file. So, um, next we're gonna type, um, we're gonna type this, we're gonna copy it over, uh, we're gonna copy the new one that we copied over to the SD card to the system bin folder. And then next we're gonna uh, ch mod it, uh, basically give it, um, give it executable, executable um, power. And then we're gonna type this. And then that should be it, I think. Um, okay. Oh, and let me show you how to get back to it. Um, if you ever wanna, well, you know what? It'll be in my link if you wanna revert back. But um, this one should work. So let's go to our tablet and see if we pick up ad hoc. Hi folks, so I'm back in my tablet. Um, I see G2, uh, which I can see on my desktop, but I don't see it on here. So I'm thinking I have to reboot it. So let me reboot real quick and I'll be back. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get ad hoc now. So I'll be back when this is done. I'm gonna go have a smoke. And I've rebooted and guess what? I've got, uh, it has a star on it for the ad hoc. So let me see if I can connect to my ad hoc network. And it's obtaining IP address and connect it. And let me see if the browser works. Let's go to Google. And voila, there you go. So that's how you install e um, uh, ad hoc uh, Wi Fi. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, check out more hacks at uh, galaxytabhacks.com or eepadhacks.net if you have a Asus EE transformer. Thank you all. See you all later. Go have fun.